Paying $6 a month for mediocre boobies, small brain, very stupid, micro fetus brain cells. Searching boobies on Google for free. Big brain, very big Chad. Hi guys, Crab here coming at you. Unscripted as usual. Some interesting news. Uh, OnlyFans is banning porn. I know, that's kind of interesting. That's like uh, Pornhub banning porn. It, pretty similar. OnlyFans is just unanimous with porn and sexually explicit content at this point. If you've been living under like the biggest rock of all time, bigger than my schlong, uh, OnlyFans is a platform, a subscription-based platform where fans uh, send you subscription money. It's kind of like a Patreon in a way, except like it's photo, video, content based. You know, you sign up for your favorite YouTubers, OnlyFans, you pay six bucks a month and 99% of the time, that's where they post nudes, porn, stuff like that. I mean, if an employer searches up a potential employee and they see an OnlyFans page, they don't even click on it. They don't see, oh, is this porn? Is this not? They already know it's porn because that's what 99% of OnlyFans is, is porn. I mean, if you look it up, Everybody except OnlyFans acknowledges that it was basically a porn site. That's all what people do. Like, I've actually met chicks, like, I'll talk to them, and then I find out later they have an OnlyFans. I'm like, oh, damn. You know, and I'm not one of those people who's like, you know, oh, they're making two million a week, you know, I can't blame him. You know, they're just chasing the bag, you know. Honestly, I've always been against the idea of people selling their soul, dignity, and body away and humiliating themselves on a camera for the pleasure of a bunch of fat incels to masturbate to over a screen all across the world. Personally, in my opinion, it's not a very respectable form of work. So I don't really have much, too much of a problem with OnlyFans banning porn. There actually was a very small amount of the OnlyFans creator base that did not make sexually explicit content. It was a very small amount though, like most of the people on there, all the famous people on there, they all made porn and nudes and racy photos, you know, thong pictures, stuff like that. And now they're banning that, which I find really funny because they're probably going to lose, I would guess, at least 90% of their revenue in their business. The ban apparently takes place, what was it, October 1st? Sometime in October, October 8th, I don't remember. It was sometime in October, they're banning all sexually explicit content. I went through the guidelines and it was a little bit vague on exactly what explicit content was. So like racy photos might be able to get away with it or like things that are seen as artful. For example, even here on YouTube, sexually explicit stuff and pornography isn't allowed, but also you can have hot oil massage yoga here on YouTube that falls under the category of educational, even though we all know for a fact that uh, the people watching that are not watching to learn. So for comparison, there is double standards here on YouTube as well. However, yeah, OnlyFans, they're cutting most of them off. So now we have all these chicks who dropped out of college to pursue a career in OnlyFans, showing their butthole to the entire world are gonna have to start working at McDonald's. If you're one of the many people that were making millions a month off of OnlyFans, I really hope that you were wise with that money, saved the majority of it, or made a proper investment. So now that that income isn't there, you'll still be able to take care of yourself without having to get some nine to five at Walmart or something like that. If not, and like most people who make a significant significant amount of money with little to no work, you instantly blow it all right when you get it, then you're going to be in some trouble. It is a little depressing the amount of people I've known over the years who dropped out of college in a promising respectable career to pursue OnlyFans was quite sad. I will never endorse that kind of career path. Sure, everyone has the right to do it, but that doesn't mean I have to agree with it, respect, or admire it. Honestly, I think it's quite disempowering and gross to do something like that to yourself. But whatever, they're going to have to go to platforms like The Hub, etc., which I believe is free and not subscription-based, or they'll have to make their own websites, shit like that, if they want to migrate that business profession over to another platform. So, um, sorry OnlyFans creators, but uh, now hopefully all the 600 pound Discord moderators named Chuck, Jeff, and John, who blow like $50 in tips begging for pictures of your feet or shit in your toilet are gonna have to save that money and maybe put it somewhere else, at least I hope. Again though, I really find it amusing from a business standpoint, how they think that's a good idea where like the majority of their revenue comes through explicit content and then they're banning explicit content. It's just gonna be the death of their platform. I guarantee you in a year, OnlyFans isn't really gonna be around anymore. No one's gonna know about them. And maybe in four or five, they'll go under. I don't know. It's just a kind of uneducated guess, but I do know that that kind of content is the majority of their revenue. That'd be like if YouTube banned the gaming content. Now that's not gonna happen. At least I hope it would be the same thing as YouTube banning gaming. One of the biggest genres, if not, it might be the biggest genre. I don't know if music is higher, but it, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the biggest genre on YouTube gaming. What if they ban that? Like the hit they would take is insane. But even then YouTube has things like film, animation, sketches, comedy, music, all sorts of other things they can run at. Whereas OnlyFans is just like 99% porn or 98%. 
it was a lot. It was kind of funny because I considered doing a prank for my subscribers when I turned 18 and in a few months I was going to make Craft Cave only fans. They were going to subscribe to you and then it would just be like, I don't know, pictures of fucking bagels with cream cheese or some shit like that. But now that's not going to work because by then it's not going to be known as the porn platform anymore. So uh, best of luck, uh, creators of OnlyFans, I suppose. You've got another thing coming. Do you poor creators who are going to be out of revenue soon? Good luck, and hopefully you can soon move on to a more respectable choice of income generation. Might I suggest investing in the Crab Coin? Crab Coin is a new cryptocurrency that's going to be going live in three and a half weeks. It's going to skyrocket past Bitcoin, and it is not federally subsidized, not federally controlled, and it is linked to the exact dollar stock amount of asparagus. So it will be a stable, long-lasting, high-value investment you should invest in now. Anyway, that's it for today's video. I gotta edit this quick before the tea gets cold and the drama is no longer relevant. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like, subscribe. Uh, Quick shout out to my Patreon members. Th there is none. This is where you come in.